Okay, we were talking about limiting reagent and in this video we'll actually find the limiting reagent, right? And we were talking about this equation in the last video, so we will expand on this and find which of these reactants are actually limiting our product. Cool. Okay, but first let us talk about the ideal situation, okay? The balanced situation. Because in stoichiometry, you must have all the things balanced, right? So, in an ideal situation, okay, you have two moles of hydrogen, which is reacting to one mole of oxygen, okay? And essentially, we are comparing the mole ratios of our reactants, okay? So, if you do this, and you will see that, Two moles of hydrogen is reacting to one mole of oxygen. Okay, two is to one. And this is the required ratio to calculate, to find, sorry, to make uh, two moles of dihydrogen monoxide, which is a fancy way of saying water. Okay, this is the ideal. Okay, let me just write that down. Ideal. Okay, this is required. 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 Cool. But let's say you are given some amount, okay? You're given some hypothetical amount, let's say 0 0.5, or let's make that better, okay? Half mole of oxygen, okay? And let's take two mole of hydrogen, okay? It will remain the same, okay? Cool. And let's calculate the mole ratio of this, okay? You have two mole, okay, then that same color, okay? Two mole of hydrogen all over, I mean, reacting to half mole of oxygen. And if you compare this, if you do this, this, and it will come out to be two all over half, or two all over 0 0.5. And if you compare the ideal to the actual ratio, you'll see that this, you know, the amount of oxygen reacting with hydrogen is less than required okay it's less than required less less than required which means that our oxygen is limiting our reaction it's the limiting reagent okay it's the limiting reagent oxygen is the limiting reagent limiting reagent okay so what did we do here okay we compared our ideal mole ratio Okay, which is the amount of uh, reactant 1 reacting with amount of reactant 2 and compare it with the actual, the given amount of the reactants, okay? And if you find something to be messed up, okay, if this is less, then you know that is the limiting reagent, okay? If something is less than required, then it is the limiting reagent, okay? And that is how you find the limiting reagent okay to generalize this okay to generalize this compare the ideal ideal amount of reactant one ideal amount of reactant two okay this is the mole ratio of the ideal and compare that to the available available amount of reactant one all over available amount of reactant 2 okay and all of this will be in moles okay it will be in moles okay this is how you compare the thing and that's how you find the limiting reagent in the next video which you can find somewhere here we'll talk about finding the amount of product from the limiting reagent okay cool i'll see you in the next video okay